Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Uh, it was fine. Mm, tomorrow is, uh, well, today is the last lesson from the platform. But tomorrow will be the, the test. Okay, and very to, nice. Tomorrow is the last day. Okay. But I will need to share this as well. Okay. Mahatma Gandhi. Very few people is getting in. You already have your certificate? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Then you already finish 100%. Or they yes. still they they haven't put you the the classes? Yes, because you 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 don't miss any of the of the classes I remember. So by now you should have 100% because they said you can you can miss one or two classes and still have the Well, now repeat after me. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be the change you want to see in the world. Change. Change. La G, leanla como que fuera una C. Change. 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 Be the change you want to see in the world. O sea, sea Be... el cambio que quieren ver en el mundo. O sea, no solo esperen ver el cambio o hablen sobre el cambio, sino que 
empiecen a hacer el cambio real. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero que el mundo sea más pacífico, ¿quién tiene que ser pacífico? Yo. Pero si yo quiero que el mundo sea pacífico, pero me armo hasta, hasta los dientes, entonces no quiero al mundo pacífico, sino que quiero que los demás no tengan armas, pero yo sigo. <ríe> También, si yo quiero que el mundo sea limpio, ¿quién tiene que ser limpio? ¿Verdad? Entonces son, son buenos consejos. Si quiero que... Eh, en el mundo haya menos hambre tengo que empezar a combatir yo el hambre ¿verdad? What do you want to see in the world? ¿Ustedes qué quieren ver en el mundo? Peace. Peace. And justice. Justicia. I want to see uh, children happy. Children happy. Yes. But you know what what it takes to make a child happy? ¿Qué se requiere para tener a un niño feliz? Love. Love. Excellent. Education. Education. Food. Fun. Mm -hmm. Groceries. Okay. Time. And, and yes, time. And also, um, time to play the games and all that. Okay. Now, we were talking about present perfect versus simple past. And then we say that we use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. And we use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Okay. Now, repeat after me. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. I ate it once, ate in Paris. once in Paris. No, I haven't. No, no I haven't. I've never eaten it. I've, I've never, never eaten, eaten, it. eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Have you ever have had you ever green had curry? curry? Yes, I have. Yes, yes I, I have. have. I tried it several years ago. I tried it several I years, years ago. ago. No, I haven't. No, no I, I haven't. haven't. I've never had it. I, I never had it. Well, what about you? Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? O sea, no. comida no. De, de Marruecos? No, no I, haven't. I haven't. Okay, and have you ever eaten green curry? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. I guess I, I will look for some um, Marrucan recipes 
and to see what is what 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 is the recipe for green curry as well and then try it here at home because uh, I guess that we can get the ingredients for all this type of food here in, in Panama because um, we we have multicultural people here and maybe they have all that in available at the grocery store. Now, in this session, the use of four and scenes will be explained throughout an audio, not the expression. How long have you lived in Thailand? I, I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. Now, repeat. How long did you live in Thailand? How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. I lived there two years. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. How long had you lived in Miami? How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I live here, here for, six for six months. I love it here. I, I love it love here. It we live here. I live, I live here. here since last year. Since last year. I'm really happy here. I'm really happy here. Me, si se dan cuenta, este for. Está eh, for y sin se ocupa para hablar eh, sobre periodos de tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero este for dice la cantidad de días, meses, semanas, horas, etcétera. Y sin es este como desde, ¿verdad? For es por, ¿verdad? Por tanto tiempo. Y since es desde, ¿verdad? Entonces usted tiene que decir desde, desde cuándo, ¿verdad? Puede decir un año, puede decir este, una fecha en específico, pero desde, since. O puede decir también, lo puede ocupar con horas o con días, ¿verdad? Pero desde, así como ocupamos el desde en español. O sea, desde hasta, ¿verdad? Since. Four plus a period of time. For six years. Repeat, for six years. For six, six years. years. For a week. For a week. For a week. For a month. For, for a month. month, for hours, for, for hours. hours, for two hours, for two for hours. hours. I have worked here for five years. I have worked here, here for five years. For five years. Uh, present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. She has yeah, lived here, here for 20, 20 years. years. We have talked at this school for a long time. We, we have talked at this school at this for, a long, for time. a long time. Alice has been married for three months. Alice, Alice has, has been married for three, three months. months. They have been at the hotel for a week. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since 
uh, for a plus a specific moment. Since this morning. Since, since this, this morning. morning. Since last week. Since, since last, last week. week. Since yesterday. Since, since yesterday. yesterday. Since I was a child. Since, since I, was a child. I was a child. Since Wednesday. Since, since Wednesday. Wednesday. Since two o'clock. Since, since two o'clock. Permítanme que hay algo que necesito arreglar aquí. Y ya que estoy aquí, voy a arreglar de un solo otra cosita que vi por aquí. Ok. Now, press okay. The knowledge check. Este, les estoy enseñando lo de la plataforma. Yes. Ok. Yes. Ok. Now, read the following sentences and choose between for and since, depending on context. O sea, lea las oraciones y escoja entre for, for y since de este, dependiendo del contexto de las oraciones. Now, Pan was In Central America, for a month last year. year. Right, repeat, Pan was in Central America for a month last year. Pan was in Central America for a month last year. Last year. I've been a college student almost for almost four years i have been a college student for almost four years hirochi has been at work since since 6 a.m i haven't gone to a party For, 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 for a long time. Josh lived in Venezuela for, 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 for two years as a kid. My parents had been on vacation since, since Monday. Natalie was engaged to Danny for for six months Pat and Valeria have been best friends since high school we have been in class since 5.30 p.m. the babies have cried for, for 30 minutes Okay. Now, repeat after me. Pan was in Central America for a month last year. Pan was in Central America for a month last year. I've been a college student 
for almost four years. I've been, been a college, college student, student for, for almost four, for years. Four, almost four yes. years. Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. Hiroshi yes. has been at work work since, since 6 a.m. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. For a long time. Josh lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. Josh lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Remember, vacation, vacation. 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 no. Vacation. Vacation. <laughs> Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. Pat and Valeria have been best friends since high school. Pat and Valeria, Valeria have been best friends in high school. high school. We have been in class since 5.30 p.m. We have been we in class since 5.30 p.m. p.m. The babies have cried for 30 minutes. The babies have cried outside for 30 minutes. Means. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's continue. In this session, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final T and D sounds in verbs with the vowel that follow. Okay. <clears throat> Have you cooked lunch yet? Oh. Have you cooked no. lunch yet? Have, Have you cooked, cooked lunch, lunch yet? yet? Yes, I already cooked it. Yes, yes, I've already cooked it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Yes, I yes, I tried it in Miami. Right. Okay. Now, have you ever cut your hair? Have you have ever, you ever cut, cut, your cut your hair? hair? Cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. Yes, yes I've, I've cut, cut, it. cut it. No, I haven't cut it. No, I no, haven't I cut it. Haven't have you ever tasted goat cheese? Have you Have ever you tasted ever goat, goat, cheese? goat cheese? Have you ever tried Korean food? Have you ever Have tried you ever Korean, Korean food? food? Have you brought your dictionary today? Have you brought Have your you dictionary, brought your dictionary, dictionary today? today? Have you ever read the last Harry Potter book yet? Have you Have ever you read the last Harry Potter book? Harry Potter book yet? Book yet? Okay. Mm -hmm. About Harry Potter, have you ever read any of, of uh, his books? In my case, I have never. Never. No. These things. No, no le gustan. O sea, no, no le gusta no. el tipo de, de, de Harry Potter. I read no, no. all the books. It's the worst. Ni movie. The movie I like it. <laughs> ni movie, ni well, book. 
let me tell you one thing. I have read all the books, and not only the American version, but also the British version, because the same author has an American version and a British version from the books. O sea, la, la misma autora hizo dos versiones, una americana y otra británica, para cada uno de sus libros. Entonces, de la americana suelen hacer este, los, las películas, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, o sea que las versiones eh, británicas van bastante diferentes a las películas. ¿verdad? Entonces yo leí ambos y una vez cometí el error de leer primero el libro y después ir a, a ver la película, porque, o sea, la película no, o sea, está, estuvo mejor lo que yo me imaginé con el libro que lo que yo vi en la película. Entonces para aquellos que dicen que la película es mejor que el libro, nada. O sea, yo conforme voy leyendo, me voy imaginando las cosas, ¿verdad? Y, y mi imaginación estuvo mucho más allá que lo que logró hacer el, 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 el director con la película, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, ahora vamos a hacer este, unos ejercicios. Vale. Eh, Aquí tenemos los ejemplos de cómo usar Present Perfect with For. Entonces, ahora ustedes van a hacer sus propias oraciones usando For. ¿Vean? Pueden agarrar estas de ejemplo, pero este, agarren también sus, este, sus listas de verbos. Y tienen este ejemplo aquí. Entonces, este vamos a hacer una ronda donde cada uno va a decir una oración propia, ¿verdad? Utilizando for. ¿Verdad? Entonces, le voy a dar un chancecito de que piensen. Y cuando ya alguien se sienta que ya, que ya puede participar, levanta la mano. Y esa persona va a empezar. Y después esa persona va a nombrar quién va a seguir con el ejercicio. ¿Cuánto, cuánto vamos a hacer por todos los seis? No, ahorita solo, ahorita solo una oración propia. Una oración propia. Con for. Después vamos a pasar a fin. Pero como van a ser cada uno quien va a decir un, algo y ahorita vemos 20 personas, o sea, tenemos para rato, ¿verdad? Y cada quien tiene que hacer una oración original, o sea, no puede repetir lo que haya dicho el compañero, ni puede, ni puede decir lo que ya está aquí en, en, el, en los ejemplos. Lo pueden escribir si quieren ahí en algún cuaderno. Acuérdense de seguir eh, la fórmula, ¿verdad? Sujeto, have or has, verbo en pasado participio y complemento. Y en el complemento tienen que ocupar for.
necesitan que le vuelva a poner eh, la lista de verbos o, sea, o, o, o ya la sacaron de ya la tienen impresa ok si Arnulfo mano, teacher si la tiene en la mano ahí, porfa la comparte ¿cómo así? Ah, la, la, la okay. lista sí, sí, sí permítanme gracias Permítame, a ver. Irregulares, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Vale, ahí está. Gracias. Bien. Arnulfo dice que ya está listo. Yes, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. go ahead. Okay. Um, I have been in this class for a month. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. My uncle has lived. In USA for 25 years. Excellent. Eh, okay. Mr. Teacher, Rafael ¿no? Antonio. I, I, have, I have been connected for two hours. I have been connected, connected for two hours. Pero connected no es de los de los verbos de eso, pero bueno, está bien el verbo Alberto Navarrete go ahead ok, ok um, I have uh, traveled to Mexico for two years I have traveled to Mexico for two years excellent okay. now eh, vaya, como ya no hay voluntarios, entonces hoy usted va a escoger a alguno de sus compañeros. Yo, teacher. Ah, ok, go ahead. I have closed the door to my bathroom for three hours. I have closed the door to my bathroom for to three hours. For three hours. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> Espero, espero que viva solo. <risa> ok. Usted como que es pariente de mis hijos cuando están bañando. Solo que ellos tienen la gentileza de dejar abierto. <risa> ok, thank you. Eh, now, eh, Sandra Patricia. I have lived in Ciudad Delgado since my childhood. No, pero ese es since. Y estamos con for ahorita. I have lived in Ciudad Delgado for 10 years. Excellent. Ok. Sí, miren qué rápido la cambió. Eso es inteligencia. Este, como no hay otro voluntario, escoja a Sandra Patricia, otro de esos compañeros de los que no han pasado. Jessica. Ah, ya, yeah, Jessica Rosales. Ok, thank you. I have worked for a house. I have worked, I have worked for, for a house. Eight hours. Ok, thank you very much. Other volunteer. Miren qué buenas oraciones las que hacen. Francisco Sánchez. I have married for 14 years. I have been married. I have been married for 14 years. Okay. And how do you feel about that? ¿Cómo se siente con respecto a eso? ¿Feliz? ¿O? Eh... ¿O, o, o, o? <risa> feliz, feliz. Ah, ok. Nice. <risa> ok. 
Yo aguanté 17 años y medio. Y ya después pasó. dije, ya después dije, basta. Bueno. Gracias a Dios, no éramos de los que nos gustaba pelear. Bueno. Eso sí. Eso sí, bueno. porque hubiera sido peor la cosa. Bueno, pero algunas veces creo que tal vez hubiese sido bueno que peleáramos. Pues no creo que sea bueno pelear, pero igual. No, o sea, por lo menos cuando uno pelea hay reconciliación, ¿no? Ah, eso es lo pero... mejor. <risa> pero ahí era así como la Guerra Fría. <risa> y bien fría. <risa> ok. Eh, ¿Any other volunteer? No. Que no me gusta poner así obligar a la gente, pero no han pasado no han pasado los 19. Practiquen, practiquen. Fíjense que lo están haciendo bastante bien. Bien, vamos a ir con Sins entonces. Pero procuremos participar todos. Vale, ahora, since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since uh, Wednesday, since two o'clock, I have worked here since 1990. ¿verdad? Y aquí están los ejemplos. Um, repeat after me. She has lived here since 1980. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught in this school since 1965. We have taught at this school since 1965. Uy, ya, ya tienen 56 años de estar ahí. Eh, dando clases. 56 años dando clases. O sea, ¿Cuánto tendrán ya de vida? Alice has been married since March the 2nd. Alice has been married since March 2nd. Been married since March 2nd. March 2nd. March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay. Now, do me make your own your own sentences. Le vuelvo a compartir el, el, el los verbos. ¿Prefieren los verbos o las oraciones? Okay, at last time also when you are ready, raise your hand.
Bueno, mientras se preparan ahí mentalmente para hacer eso, eh, vamos a chequear el examen final. Yo siento que ya la mayoría ya hicieron el examen final, me imagino, para estas alturas. Y si no, eh, todavía tenemos entre hoy y mañana para terminarlo. Entonces, este, eh, como siempre, eh, empieza con un listening. Bueno. Listen to the conversations. ¿Me escucharon lo que les puse? Yes, teacher. Permítanme. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Oh, uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. Two. Sarah, did... Listen yeah. to the conversations. Check the correct information. ¿Están escuchando? Yes. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Oh, uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. Two. Sarah, did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. And he's tall, really tall. He's over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is. And he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes. That's right. Three. All right, Mr. Brown. Tell me again what happened here. Thank you, officer. I told you, the man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean, how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red t-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. Hi, I'm new here. My name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to our school party. Do you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They are that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them. Thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about her homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. Okay. Entonces, ese es el listening, ¿verdad? Que ustedes van a tener, tienen allí en la plataforma. Este... Y ahora, en el listening, en el número uno, les preguntan sobre lo que escucharon, ¿verdad? Y entonces ustedes tienen que decidir 
¿Cuál de estos tres va con, el, con lo que escucharon de la número uno? Entonces, eh, dice, repeat after me. Emily is short and in her 30s. Emily is Emily short is and in her 30s. Emily is medium height and in her 20s. Emily is medium height and in her 20s. Emily is fairly short and about 25. Emily is fairly short and about 25. Okay. Now, Steve has blue eyes and black hair. Steve has blue eyes and black hair. Black hair. Steve is really tall and has curly brown hair. Steve is really tall and has curly brown hair. Steve is only 29 years old and handsome. Steve is only 29 years old and handsome. The thief was short. The thief was short. Had a white beard. Had a white beard. And was elderly. And was elderly. Elderly. The thief has on a black shirt and glasses. The thief has on a black shirt and a glasses. The thief had lunch with Mr. Brown in the cafe. The thief had lunch with Mr. Brown in the cafe. No, ahí es café. O sea, no es coffee. Es café. O sea, es el nombre del lugar. No, no lo que se está tomando. ¿Ok? Mm. Entonces sí se llama café. Y sí va hasta con mayúsculas. Con, con, con tilde. Porque eh, eh, los ingleses no ocupan tilde. Pero ese es este como un nombre de un establecimiento. ¿Verdad? Entonces... AJ and Penny are sitting on the coach and talking to Tom. AJ, AJ and Penny are, are sitting on are the coach and, and, talking, and to talking to Tom. To Tom. AJ and Penny are both wearing jeans and red sweaters. AJ and Penny are both wearing jeans and red sweaters. AJ and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the coach. AJ and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the coach. Attractive couple. Attractive couple. Attractive couple. Attractive couple. Okay. Now, complete the conversations, use the present perfect of the verbs. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ahí tienen eh, ma, este, aquí van a tener que completar usando el presente perfecto. Entonces, acordémonos que el presente perfecto es el verbo have, ¿verdad? Y el verbo en pasado participio. Pero como aquí ya les pusieron el have, ¿Verdad? En este tienen que poner. Ok. Entonces, este. Tienen que ver qué es lo que van a poner aquí. Yo creo que les dan la, donde escoger. ¿Verdad? Pero, eh, o si no, le, tienen que, que escribirlo. Entonces, este. En este caso. ¿Verdad? Van, como aquí ya está el have, aquí lo que van a poner es el pasado participio del verbo be. Y aquí el pasado participio del verbo see. En este caso, aquí tienen que poner el auxiliar que falta. Y aquí sí, tienen que poner el, el, el verbo en pasado participio. 
Eh, después eh, sigue. Eh, tienen que escoger las, las, las respuestas correctas para completar las conversaciones. ¿Verdad? Ahí les dan los, los diferentes, este, yo creo que aquí es que tienen que ocupar for or since, ¿verdad? I live in Boston. I love every minute I was there. Now, repeat after me. I live in Boston. I live in Boston. Five years. Five years. I love every minute I was there. I love I every love minute every I minute was there. there. My wife and I have gone to Costa Rica every year. My wife and I, I have I gone to Costa Rica every year. 2001. 2001. Patrick has studied Patrick Portuguese, has Portuguese a long time. A long time. A long time. He's good speaker now. He's good speaker now. Aquí tienen que eh, leer las oraciones y escoger eh, la, la forma correcta. Entonces aquí, aquí sí se los puse, ¿verdad? Para que escojan qué es lo que tienen que poner aquí. Este dice, my brother is... My brother my, is... My brother is... His 20s and goes to college in Arizona. Entonces ustedes ¿Sí? tienen que escoger si es este, este o este, el que completa la oración, ¿verdad? Entonces va el otro. Tracy. Repeat, Tracy. 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 Short, 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 black hair. Short, short gray, black hair. Black hair. And blue eyes. En blue, blue eyes. Blue eyes. Phil's nephew. Phil's nephew. Matthew. Ahí tiene que escoger cuál de estas es. Y después dice five feet eight. Five feet eight. Five feet eight. And has dark brown beard and mustache. And has dark brown beard and mustache. Brown beard and mustache. And mustache. Has Martin ever an appointment? Has Martin ever an appointment? Entonces ahí se decide cuál de estas es la que mejor completa la oración. Y después, how many times have you lost your? How many times have you lost your? Okay. Have you ever a truck? Have you oh, ever a yeah. truck? ¿Verdad? Entonces ahí tienen que decidir qué es lo que se hace con un truck, ¿verdad? Now, eh, vuelva a escribir las oraciones, ¿verdad? Estas se tienen que poner en orden, ¿verdad? Este, acuérdense de que hay que seguir un patrón, ¿verdad? Para hacer las oraciones. Entonces, aquí están siempre las de oraciones, aquí están revueltas. Ustedes las tienen que poner en orden. Now, en esta es que le dan este reading. Y ustedes después tienen que contestar este, estas, estas preguntas. O sea, tienen que chequear qué es lo que ella puede. ¿Verdad? Entonces, she can. Ustedes tienen que decidir si en la lectura dice read books, eat Venezuelan food, exercise at a gym, get a haircut, go dancing, go shopping, make travel arrangements, see movies. Send emails, 
wash and dry clothes. Entonces, ustedes tienen que decir qué es esto. Entonces, eh, todavía tenemos tiempo para leer esto. Now, repeat after me. Hi, Nina. Hi, Nina. Hi, Nina. Guess what? Guess, Guess what? what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I really I like, my, like new my new roommates. roommates. I also like the neighborhood. I also I like, like, the neighborhood. like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. There, there, there are, are lots of different of restaurants, restaurants here. here. Last night I ate at Vietnamese restaurant. Last night I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant. Just around the corner. Just around the corner. The food was delicious. The food was delicious. And I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. And I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this morning. For breakfast this morning. I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet cafe. Actually, it's an, an internet cafe. So I'm emailing you now. So I'm emailing now. No, you now. It's a really convenient neighborhood. It's a really convenient neighborhood. There's a laundromat. There's a laundromat. On our street. On our street. And there are some interesting stores too. And there are some interesting stores too. One store sells lots of amazing CDs and DVDs. One store sells lots of amazing CDs and DVDs. And books from all over the world. And books from all over the world. And my roommates told me there is a dance club just two blocks away. And my roommates told me there is a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. I want, I want to dance every weekend. Come visit. Come visit. Okay, well, that is the exam that you have in the platform. Any, any questions about it? Alguna pregunta sobre eso? No. Entendieron todo. ¿Sí? Yes. Ok. Entonces, eh, tomorrow is our last class. And eh, be prepared because after the test, uh, after we check the test, we will be doing exercise like the ones we were doing today uh, until we finish the our class. And it was nice to have you as, as students. And I hope you can get in tomorrow. Okay? Now, see you tomorrow. And nice to be with you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.